Never have I seen such polarizing opinions on one- wait. I feel like I've done this before. So Godzilla came out this past weekend and it's been destroying in the box office. It's made like, what, a hundred million dollars in its first weekend? And there's already plans for a sequel. Though not everyone loves this movie. I mean, I liked it. I think it's good, but not great. I'm really confused as to why people hate this movie or love it. After I left the theater, I was just like, oh, it was all right. There are some really good things in the movie, but it's held back by certain flaws. A lot of people have been complaining that there's too much focus on the human story. Though I don't think it's the focus on the human story, I think it's just that the characters are kind of boring. Especially our main character, who's the son of the Brian Cranston character. And he's played by the guy who played Kick-Ass. It feels like he's just there to take us to these different locations so we can see the monsters in Godzilla. And that's another thing that people complain about this movie is that there's not enough Godzilla in it. Though if I recall from the Godzilla movies that I saw when I was a kid, that some of the Godzilla movies where he fights a different monster, the other monster is more of the focus than Godzilla is. Like Godzilla doesn't show up until like the last 15 minutes or something. Which in this movie, he actually shows up about halfway. Though I will say the movie definitely teases you a lot. And there's a really big tease in the middle of the movie. Though this is all building up to the final battle that we have at the climax of the film. And these next few parts I'm going to talk about might be spoilers, I'm not sure, so if you're cautious, really cautious about spoilers, uh, probably pause the video now. The creatures that Godzilla has to fight in this movie have been nicknamed Mutos, which means Massive Unidentified Terrestrial Organism, even though one of them can fly. So I guess that would make that a Mufo. And I guess Godzilla is technically a Muto. It's like their military name for a kaiju. Now I'm not going to spoil what happens in the fight because that's kind of the point of going to see the movie, but I will say that the cinematography in this is actually really well done. It definitely gives you a sense of scale of how big these monsters are. Though I regret sitting in the back of the theater when I saw this, what was I thinking? I should have been sitting in the front row so I could get that sense of scale. I definitely recommend seeing it in IMAX or something because I feel like this movie would definitely really work with IMAX. I know next month when I go to a convention in Minnesota, I'm going to go to the D-Box Theater they have in the Mall of America and watch it there. I imagine it would be really fun to watch this in a D-Box Theater. So overall, this does not have as much action as Pacific Rim, but it's a different kind of monster movie. Yes, the characters were boring, but Godzilla was cool. It feels like the movie was trying to go more for a sense of fear, and having you connect with the people, though it sort of failed on that front. Surprisingly, it actually has you connect with Godzilla a bit. When you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Godzilla. If you saw the movie, tell me what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it. And be sure to subscribe for videos I upload every week. And if you're feeling really generous, check out my Patreon page. And as always, thank you for watching. Like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better able to take it.